Tonight, nearly three months after the Maui fires, visitors are among those still pitching in to help provide evacuees with food, water and supplies. A massive shipping and delivery system has developed to keep the aid flowing. As our Daryl Huff reports from Maui, it's clear the nation has not forgotten. In this repurposed warehouse, you get a real visual representation of the generosity of America. Months and months of supplies, staple foods and even clothing like these pallets from the Las Vegas Raiders. Hawaii responded before the smoke had cleared with frantic donations and wildcat shipping to chaotic, desperate distribution sites. Since then, the supply chain for aid has professionalized with experienced logistics, shipping, and emergency response experts taking over a pipeline that remains essential. It's a blessing. It is a blessing because they didn't have to do this for anybody, but they did it for their heart. The route to Ape Saluga's family heavily depends on employees and equipment of Hawaii Food Service Alliance, like Kea Martinez on the forklift and truck driver Dennis Rodriguez, who both left families on Oahu the day after the fire and stayed. We, we knew what we signed up for and we jumped on that plane that first day. Oh, it feels good. Don't, don't feel like I'm doing much on my end, but it means a lot to them. That's why I keep pushing. HFA drivers documented their arrival at Lahaina as it smoldered the next day, where they joined five Maui co-workers who'd lost their homes. One of them reported in his socks because he only ran out with the clothes on his back and barely made it out. Um, but the reason they came in is they knew that we were going to be the one answering the call. They knew that there's a community and their families in need. HFA owner Chad Buck came to Maui as a teenager. This is a very special place, and this could not hit closer to home by hitting Maui. To this day, two and a half months later, we haven't built a penny. We're still kind of figuring it out. Last week, shippers, including young brothers Matson and Pesha, waived a half million dollars in freight costs. The state is leasing warehouse space in Kahului and at the well-stocked drop-in distribution site at the old Safeway. Come on up. Come on. Keep going. From the warehouse, the containers arrive at a former Outback Steakhouse in Kahana, where volunteers with the nonprofit Global Empowerment Mission pack and distribute 25 pound food boxes, water, milk, and pet food to 2,000 vehicles a week, providing for about 4,000 people still in need with no end in sight. So, our economic structure is still struggling. So, those are the people I think that we really need to help still, and probably for you know, a good six months to a year. How much time do you think it's going to take till you guys don't need this help? To be honest, I don't know. But I do know that every day that we wake up, we're blessed for everybody's help. Why do I do this? How can you not do this? It's where we live. It's what we're taught. I think weather, tough question. Along with a nearly endless supply of goods, this disaster is demanding an almost endless supply of volunteers. And while the reopening of tourism to West Maui may be controversial, you should know that 30% of these volunteers are visitors. Reporting from West Maui, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.